Hi, I'm Brian from Field Notes Brand. Today we're here to talk about the FN11 Dry Transfer Kit, which came with your Spring 2011 Colors Field Notes. You can see there's no logo here. We're going to use this dry transfer type to add a logo to our Field Notes notebook. Dry transfer technology is useful for any sort of uh, short typesetting project like uh, headlines, um, great for like high school yearbooks or zines or anything like that where you're just setting a few words. Uh, it's too time consuming for whole paragraphs of text for that. You'd want to get your phototype or your Mergenthaler. Uh, but for something like putting a headline on a notebook, it's just right. You can see I've taped down my FN11B dry transfer application template, which is available from fieldnotesbrand.com. I'm going to use this to line up the text to make sure everything's centered and aligned properly. And I'm going to use a ruler to draw these guidelines. You'll note the guidelines are actually a little bit below the letters. We're going to use a two-line head using these dashed lines. There's also options to do a one or three-line head using these dotted lines. For the one line, obviously, you'd use the middle line. Um, the reason the lines are offset from the type is because a letter like O or any other letter with a round bottom is, uh, does not actually sit on the baseline. That curve sits below the baseline a little bit, so we're going to use these lines on the template to align the type, which are, which are standardized for each letter. Uh, we're actually going to, you can obviously, the whole great thing about this is you can put anything you want on your notebook, but uh, we're actually going to typeset field notes as we see it here. You want to draw them pretty gently because you're going to erase them later, obviously and you don't need them to be real dark because you can see through the uh, press type sheet pretty easily. So there's our two baselines. I'm also going to draw the center line. The trick with doing this, especially if you're centering type, is you always want to start in the center of the layout and work out to the sides because if you start on one side you're going to crash, you're never going to get it centered right. Uh, the center line, as you can see, is right here. I'm going to start with field. Don't forget that certain letters are narrower than others, so an E isn't necessarily in the middle of the word field. You can see it's a little bit to the left because the I is so narrow and the D is a little bit wider. Looking optically, I'm going to say the E is just uh, going to go right about here. So I'm going to use this line on the bottom with the line on here, get an E there, and I'm going to go a little bit to the left. Now this popsicle stick that came with your kit isn't really for rubbing down the type. Uh, uh, Sharp or slightly dull pencil is going to work a lot better for that. Hang on to the popsicle stick for later. You want to just start in a corner and press firmly but not real hard. You don't want to press so hard that the plastic backing warps a lot because that makes it tricky later for other letters. And just make sure you cover the whole surface of the letter and then keep holding it down, pull it back gently and make sure nothing's sticking and there's our E. Kerning is a little tricky also. Obviously, again, the more skilled you are at typesetting in general, the easier that's going to be for you. Um, in the Field Notes logo, there's a pretty uh, substantial space between all the letters. Obviously, you can do it any way you want, but I'm going to try to follow this. Um, let's see, here's our L. We're going to go work out to the sides now. I'm going to look at the E through the template and uh, see just about how much space is there and try to match it. Uh, it might help to sketch out your type ahead of time to get an idea on what you want your uh, kerning to be. Now the space between the D and the L is a little tighter because there's all that space on the L where uh, you know, you're going visually. It's not, kerning is never really a mathematical thing. It's more just what looks good to you and to other people. And again, just gently, but definitely hard enough to make sure that you can see, you know, it gets lighter where it's come off. So it's pretty easy to tell if you're using a pencil where you've pressed and where you haven't. And there you have it. Now you're going to want to use this vellum sheet that came with your, uh, it's the backing sheet that came with your kit, and you're going to use that with the popsicle stick to rub down the type and make it a bit more permanent. I'm going to burnish that down again. And there it is. Now I want to go in and erase my lines carefully. All right, we'll just remove our tape. And there's our custom Field Notes Spring 2011 Colors Notebook. Thanks for supporting Field Notes. We'll see you again soon.